the sum of the third and eighth term of an arithmetic sequence is 24. Now what often happens is students see the word sum and they instantly want to go for the sum formula. But I'll show you why this is incorrect. If you had to use the sum formula for three terms, what that actually means is term one plus term two plus term three. They didn't say that the sum of all the th first three terms, they're saying the sum of only the third term and only the eighth term. So what this actually means is that term three plus term eight will be 24. They also tell us that the 10th term is 21, so we can say T10 equals 21. So now all we do is we, we just fill in as much as we can. So term three, if we use this formula, is the same as a plus, now n would be three because it's term three, and then the common difference we don't know. Then it says plus, that's this plus. Then term eight would be a plus eight minus one times d. Can you see what I did there? I just used this formula on term three and then on term eight. We then say that that is equal to 24. I'm then going to use this piece of information, which tells us that 21 is equal to a plus, now it's term number 10, so we say 10 minus 1 times d. Now we're just going to neaten up. So for this side, it's going to be a plus 2d plus a plus 7d equals 24. I can neaten that up even more. 2a plus 9d equals to 24. And then on this side, it will just be 21 equals to a plus 9d. Now it's a simultaneous scenario. So you can do this however you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try use this equation and I'm going to get a by itself. If I do that, it would be 21 minus 9d. I'm then going to plug that expression over here. So it's going to be 2 and then in brackets, we're going to put 21 minus 9d plus 9d equals 24. And then multiply in that will be 42 minus 18d plus 9d equals to 24. You would eventually get 18 is equal to 9d. Therefore, if you divide, d is 2. You could then plug that over here to find a. And we'd see that a is 21 minus 9. And then we said d is 2. And so a would end up being 3. The question then says, find term 30. So we can then go to our normal formula and find term 30, because we now have a as 3, term 30, and then d is 2. And so we should end up with 61 as our answer.